this is the current state of my house. Yes, I did decorate for Christmas. That's coming in another video, but well, I got these new nightstands for our bedroom. I think I told you guys about, and they came in yesterday. This has taken me two hours to do one nightstand. Like, I love them. They're beautiful. But two hours to do one nightstand, and now I have to do this other one. I really thought that they came assembled, but they don't. So, here we are. This is what we're working with currently. Um, all these little moving pieces. Also, hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Taylor. Um, if you watched my previous video, yes, I'm wearing the same exact outfit because it is the same day. But I just didn't want to put all that in one video, so I figured I would do two. Um, yeah, I don't know why I thought that these came assembled for some reason. I got them off Amazon. Um, I really thought I did. And they don't. So, I'm going to finish putting the other one together and then we are going to move the nightstands to my room to the guest room and then put these in our room. So, let's see how that goes. Maybe I'll film you guys, I'll show you guys me doing the second nightstand just so you guys can, you know, really get a feel of how it is. Okay, a little update. I got both nightstands together. The second one definitely was way faster than it took me to do the first one. Um, but yeah, I literally love them. I think they're so beautiful. They remind me of like a pottery barn, but they um, are just from Amazon and I really like them. So I'm going to go ahead and swap our current nightstands out. I just have to take everything out that's in here currently um, because both of these drawers are filled on both sides so we'll do that and then I'll show you guys me you know putting everything in and maybe we'll organize the nightstand too I don't know we'll see okay I got the first nightstand in here I love them I think I'm gonna have to get used to having like a nightstand the bottoms open but I think it could be really cute with like some decor and stuff on the bottom um, but I took all of this stuff that was in my other nightstand out. And uh, yeah, I don't know where all this is going to go. But anyways, I slid them both on like a towel. I just didn't want to scratch the floor. Um, but yeah, now I just got to do that side. And then we should be good. And these ones are actually a bit taller than our original ones. If you guys can see like side by side. Um, but I literally just, I love the color. I love everything about it. Um, and I really wish that there was a dresser that like had those same like the same exact matching ones I wish but I couldn't find any on Amazon that matched like it didn't come in a set so I was like okay but yeah this is like literally just random stuff like extra medicines and razors my passport electronic things some random camera that I've never used more just like pictures and cards and literally just junk like I feel like my nightstand always becomes just like a hoarding place for me just to shove it in if I don't have anywhere else to put it so I gotta figure out how to be better with that with this nightstand because we only have one drawer so I think it'll be good though for me to like purge shit because I just don't need it that is that um it's 6 30 right now it's Monday. We have our meeting at 7 with our team. Um, so I have to leave here in a few minutes. I just figured I would take you guys along for my morning or my day. I'm not sure which yet. I'll probably just do my morning because um, we are going to the lighting game tonight. So I'll probably do that as a separate vlog. Um, but yeah. I always take my seed probiotic in the morning. It's like saved my life since I had... Um, C. diff earlier this year. <laughs> so I feel like it's so weird taking pills. And I just need my coffee. literally cold water in the morning burns my throat so bad um i'm gonna try out i got this peppermint mocha um coffee creamer the chobani is my favorite um i 
got it at the store and I wanted to try it because I liked the pumpkin one by them. Um, I figured it would be festive. I just do two shots of espresso and then creamer in the morning. Um, it's just what I like. I'm obsessed with my espresso machine. I, it's super affordable. It's nothing crazy, but I'll go ahead and froth this up now. Let's give her a try. Also, this cut, this mug is from Porter. You guys can see it just says it on there. And I love it. It keeps her drink so hot. I would totally recommend. Mm. Honestly, if you guys are looking for something that tastes like the pepperoni mocha from Starbucks is very close to it um okay i'm gonna go 6 40 now i have to let me just make the bed really quick and my camera's gonna die so i'll make the bed and then we're gonna go hi guys i'm back from meeting one it's 8 20 now um i actually have another meeting at 9 30 and then another meeting at 10 30 so we have a very busy day and then i already said that we're going to lightning game tonight um I'm just making some breakfast. We just have like some egg whites and uh, that free cheddar. And then I just do like powdered peanut butter with an English muffin on the side. Um, it's just what works for me, what I like. Um, so yeah. And another reason, if you're wondering, like, Taylor, why do you eat powdered peanut butter? Because I feel like, I do get that question a lot, even, like, people in my life. Like, why do you eat powdered peanut butter? And the reason is, because after I had C. diff, I kind of realized, well, I realized it before, but my body just doesn't digest fatty things, like, really at all. Um, and just to kind of, you know, keep the content down, I just do that because it's something that I eat every day. So, that is that. Okay. And then you just mix it with some water. Super easy. But anyways, um... Yeah, I'm so excited. So Austin's pair, or not Austin's parents, Austin's um, like cousins from Indiana are flying down today, and they're gonna be here for the whole week. I'm so excited to see them. Um, they're actually the cousins that we go to Indiana every summer. Well, I go with his family to Indiana every summer. I've gone the past three years, um, and we just have such a good time. He has two girl cousins that are. Um, one is the same age as me and one is a year younger than us and it's like so fun to have girls around and like to hang out with them because obviously Austin doesn't have any sisters um so yeah it's just like it's so fun I love hanging out with them they're awesome um some of them are actually staying with us this week so I'm very excited we have a whole bunch of stuff planned um and yeah I'm super excited about that but I am I will say hold on let me just fill this with a little bit of water I will say, I am very sad that I'm not going home for Thanksgiving this year. Um, if you would have seen in my, like, a couple of my previous videos, I did talk about that this will be the first time in 24 years that I am not celebrating Thanksgiving with my family, which is kind of crazy. Um, and I feel like it's just kind of made me a little bit sad this week because... It is like so routine that I always go for Thanksgiving. I always go for Christmas. But I get to make up for it. I will be home with my family for Christmas for about a week and a half. 
um, which I'm so excited about, but it just kind of comes with like having a relationship and um, not having parents, like both parents live in the same place. Obviously, I don't even live in the same place as them. Um, I'm hoping this is a lot, like this is like the first and last Thanksgiving that I have to away from them. We just talk about them coming down next year for Thanksgiving um, or for Christmas, which would be so fun because I am like such a homebody. Like I really don't like leaving my house. Um, I just love my house. I think it's so cozy here. I stay here by myself. Boston's out of town. I don't feel uncomfortable here ever. I feel like we've just made our home like just so cozy and I love it here. Um, and like, don't get me wrong. I do love going back to PA and like seeing my family there, but I love having them here. It's just like, I don't know. I'm in my own space, in my environment, but I have my family. Like, it's just, it's literally the best of both worlds. And I know that you can't always get that, but I would really like my family to come down. Also, my mom is the only one that has ever seen my house here. Um, the rest of my family has not. Just because like my siblings are still in school and stuff, so both parents can't really leave. I mean, they can, but like, I don't know. Like usually my mom comes down, my dad will stay home just cause like the kids are still in school and stuff. and. I don't know, but anyways, that is that. I am really excited for Thanksgiving now, and this will be my first Thanksgiving with Austin's family. Um, so a lot of firsts happened in here. I am gonna. I guess I'll show you guys this. This is my little breakfast today. I already had my espresso. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna sit here now and. This little breakfast of mine, if I can get my phone. Um, I'm waiting for this. Um, yeah, and then I have to kind of get the rest of the day going. I cleaned the house up pretty much all last night, so that's done. Um, and then yeah, I have to crank out a bunch of work today. We have to be ready and at Austin's parents at 4.30 today because we're going downtown first and then to the game. Um, and then tomorrow I have to pack in literally as much work as I possibly can because we are giving our team off um, Thursday, Friday this week. And Wednesday, I think we're going to take a half day. I'm not 100% sure on that yet though, so do need to figure that out. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited that we're able to give our um, crew Thursday and Friday off just to like be with their family and, you know, celebrate the holiday and stuff. I think it's really important um, just to kind of give them that time and stuff like that because we love spending time with our family too. So that is that. But anyways, I'm going to eat this now.